Hello, it's Kieran and in this video what I'm going to do is lay out one of the biggest mistakes that newbies and intermediates make when it comes to being good with women. But first I'm going to kind of set the scene. Guys in this industry, we're all kind of the same. We're terrible with women, we hated it, we were lonely, we were miserable, we were sexually frustrated, all of that good stuff. And then one day you discovered game. When you did, you realised, oh my god, everything I ever thought I knew about women is completely wrong. Oh my god, being Mr. Nice Guy, being the friend, being that lovable sap, that's terrible. What women want is a strong guy, a confident guy, a funny guy, a cocky guy. And you discover all of that stuff. So then what we do is we go to the other end of the spectrum. We then decide to remove any kind of potentially friend zonable part of our personality and just interact with women as this kind of James Bond archetype. Here's the thing, you won't get a lot of success doing that and I'll explain why. Essentially there's two elements to success with women. There's attraction and then there's comfort. Attraction is I'm attracted to this guy, I want to have sex with this guy. I could see myself having sex with this guy. This is an attractive man. That is what you're getting when you're telling the jokes and you're passing the shit test, blah, 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 blah. You're building attraction. That is absolutely fantastic. But you also need comfort. Comfort is, I trust that this is a good human being. I trust that this human being isn't going to stab me in my sleep. I trust that if I have sex with this human being, he isn't going to take a picture of me and post it online. I trust that if I sleep with him, he's not going to tell everyone that I'm a whore. Comfort. Now here's the thing. If you build attraction with no comfort, then you'll be in situations where women will like give you their numbers or something, but they won't respond when you call. Or maybe you'll have them laughing and laughing and laughing, something that used to happen to me a lot back in the day. I'd be talking to girls and they would laugh and laugh and laugh like we might talk on the phone or something. But then after that phone call, I might call them again immediately, like not immediately, like the next day, the next week or whenever, and they wouldn't pick up. Or I'd send text messages and they wouldn't respond. I'd try to invite them out and they wouldn't, they'd always have something else to do. Even though when we communicated, even though when we communicated everything was amazing because there's no comfort if you have comfort with no attraction then you become friend zoned then you're the guy who she sits down and she watches movies with or the guy who paints her toenails or the guy who she complains to about other men that's the kind of person that you become comfort with no attraction you literally need both a man who is friend zoned like in the proper sense of the term, a man who's friend zoned is actually doing a lot of things well. He's doing loads of things very well because he's still in a scenario where there are women who like him, maybe even love him, want to be around him. They want him in their lives. He's doing a lot of things well. He's doing a lot of things great. He just has no attraction. What many beginners and intermediates do is they go pure attraction with no comfort. You literally need, need the two, 1000%. You want her to be attracted to you, yes, but you also want her to feel comfortable with you as a human being so that she then feels comfortable to go home with you, to pick up the phone to you, to text you back, blah, 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 blah. You're then gonna say, how do you build comfort? Funnily enough, it's the easiest thing in the world to do because it's what you need to do before you discovered game. Comfort is effectively just getting to know a person. That's it. One, think of like some, think of a really good friend you have, like someone you're really close to. You will notice that at some point you two started to have real conversations. Like you would have spoken to them about your dreams, your passions, your fears, things that you've overcome, things that upset you. That is all the stuff that you need to discuss. You see, women want a strong and powerful man, yes, but also they want to connect with a human being. Now, this James Bond, this James Bond archetype of being so perfect that there's nothing wrong with you, it's inherently attractive, yes, but they sense that there's something else there. Like, no woman is going to believe that you're so perfect that there's nothing else going on. Like, they're really not. 
and they can also feel when you're hiding yourself when you're not giving them when you're not giving them all of you or much of you people can feel that and then they want to back away they want to pull back they won't necessarily trust you so again something to really remember is it is hugely important to at some point in your interaction with a woman after she's attracted after you're going to attract her first yes first we want to build attraction but once you have built some attraction and she is thinking okay this man's attractive i like this guy if you really want to push things to the next to the next level you need to get to know her you do so me personally one thing i would do is I'll often be in a scenario where a woman will say, hey, like, you're really confident. And then when they say that, I will speak about the fact that I wasn't always confident and that I used to be very shy and that I had to learn to become a confident person. That's building comfort because now she knows about me and my struggle. And also that sounds uh, quite good as well because it's one thing to always be confident but it's another thing to be a shy person who learned to become confident. It says good things about my character. There we go. Build comfort. To be honest, I don't even really like calling it building comfort because it's like just get to know the person. I think the way we create like a term for it, like building comfort, it's like scientifically breaking down something that's actually just a very normal and natural part of being a human being. But then I guess you could argue that about any area of game. Still, you do need to build comfort. So make sure that you do it. If you do this one thing, I promise you your successes will increase. Goodbye, take care. See you later, toodaloo, au revoir. And by the way, in the link, in the description, I've got a link to a private Facebook group. Please join that, please join that Facebook group. We have thousands of men from all around the world who are just like you. They're learning to improve their successes with women. So please do join that Facebook group. And also, We've also got the Game Academy as well. That's also in the, in the description. Game Academy is exactly what it sounds like. It is a school that we have put together which will walk you through everything that you need to know in order to improve your successes with women and become very popular, very powerful, very charismatic and just own it and crush life. Take care and see you later.